Hey, Walt here from stogierview.com with another video review. Uh, you'll notice I didn't say cigar review this time because uh, I'm actually going to be reviewing an accessory. Uh, and in particular, I'm going to be reviewing a lighter. But uh, before I get into the, the lighter itself, I want to talk a little bit about how I came to have it. If you remember back in I was July or August, I think it was August actually, uh, we, we all of us, uh, Jerry, Brian, and I went to New Orleans for IPCPR and we did a lot of press coverage. One of the, the booth tours that we did was with Prometheus and Keith Park. And uh, Keith took us around the booth and showed us all of the new products that were coming out as well as, uh, in addition to cutters and lighters, he also has uh, some cigars as well. And, and Keith took us around and showed us uh, some of these accessories and many of them were just beautiful pieces of, uh, of craftsmanship or workmanship. And and one of them really jumped out at me, which was the the retro lighter. And uh, and we got to talking, and I mentioned that I'd I'd like to to get a hold of one. And uh, and he said he'd, he'd be happy to send me one you know, once everything was straightened out with the show and things. Well, it kind of slipped my mind. I'm sure it slipped his mind as well. And, and we ended up talking uh, several months later, which was actually just recently. And we were discussing uh, contest prizes. Uh, Keith wanted to provide a couple of prizes for me to give away on the website. And during that conversation, the retro lighter came up, and you know he was more than happy to to send me one. So uh, what I have is that uh, Prometheus retro lighter that Keith was kind enough to send me. Now, uh, one of the the things that really grabbed my attention during the during the trade show was how this not only how this lighter operates which is really cool but uh, it's it's really small it's the form factor is tiny as you can see and actually in the video Brian you know kind of makes a joke about how you know you could fit this lighter in your wallet and, and Keith pulled out his wallet and slipped the, the lighter into his wallet and said sure enough yeah you can and, uh, and you know that was really cool and just like a lot of the Prometheus accessories, you can see the LCD screen in the camera. Uh, this is high polished, high quality uh, material. It's uh, it's something that you're you're kind of hesitant to throw to toss in a pocket with car keys and things like that because it will easily get scratched. Uh, I, I kind of just let it sit on the table. I don't like to carry it around with me without any kind of sheath. And I haven't seen one for this uh, this lighter. Now this is uh, compressed butane. It is a torch lighter. Uh, flipped a little lid up, and what you've got is a single jet and a striker wheel, which is here. And basically, what you're doing is depressing this lever in the front, and uh, the striker wheel strikes a flint sparks and you get a jet of butane which passes by the spark and you've got your lighter. Now one of the things that I've noticed about this lighter uh, it, as far as a negative aspect kind of a thing goes is the jet which I'm probably not gonna be able to show you but way down inside that lighter is the jet and the, the flame actually comes up and past the the frame of the lighter. Now, when you're lighting a cigar over an extended period of time, you get this flame that passes through the through the case, and eventually the case begins to warm up. Even after that short period of time, the, the case is actually warm. Now, I haven't had any problems with like the the flint popping or anything like that, but uh, it does get a little in the warm side. It's not, you know. It's a little uncomfortable after a long light if you're lighting a larger cigar. But uh, the, the, the thin single flame does a tremendous job with, uh, with, with lighting smaller cigars. It's got uh, sort of a, a pinpoint accuracy. It works really well. And, uh, and to my amazement, this, this lighter holds a fair bit of fluid. You know, when I reviewed the, the Zycar lighters a while back, both the Axia and uh, I don't remember what the other one was. The Trezo and the Axia, the, the, the dual and triple flame lighters. Even though the, the form factor was larger on those, the fuel tanks were really small. And the fact that they had multiple jets meant that you were really burning through the fluid. And I think on average I was refilling those 
after about six cigars. Now I wasn't keeping track with these, or with this particular lighter, but I was, I was able to light a lot more than six cigars. And one of the, the interesting things with this lighter is, a lot of times, like if I have, if I'm using this, my big Rocky Patel table torch, what winds up happening is as the fluid gets lower, the, the flame gets smaller and eventually it'll start to sputter. And that's not the only lighter that does that. And it, you know, I've got a, a triple flame cane lighter that does the same thing. And it's usually an indication that you either need to turn up the the, the pressure and, and get near a, a butane refill at some point or uh, or expect your lighter to go out. And in this case, the strangest thing, the lighter just stops working. Uh, you know, you don't get the, the flame beginning to sputter, it doesn't get weak and and just and gradually get weaker and weaker, it just stops. So there's there's really no warning. Now there are two, two slots on the back of this lighter, which I really can't tell what they're for. It, it doesn't appear to be, uh, you know, like fluid level. I think it may just be decorative. It's, it doesn't appear to be a, a fluid level indicator. But uh, to my surprise, it really does last for quite a while. And this uses the same flints as you would put in like a Zippo lighter. Uh, there's a, a screw on the bottom as well as a flame adjustment. And what you do is just you pop that out and retract the spring and swap out the, the flint. So that's that's pretty much the way the the, the lighter functions. Um, for as far as cool factor goes, I mean this thing is just awesome. I, I re I'm really into that uh, that whole flint spark thing. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. It got stuck. There we go. I've never had that happen before. But uh, as you can see, the the flame is really precise. And I'm I'm really scorching the cigar because I'm trying to watch the trying to let you see what's going on and light light it as at the same time by watching the monitor and it's not working as well as I'd like it to. But already it's been a few seconds and I can feel the case getting hot. Now what what this uh, what the lighter just lit was uh, a little Florida Minicana double arrow. I think it was a 660. It, it, it certainly doesn't look like a 60 by six, but 660 was on the was written on the cellophane, so I'd imagine it's 60 ring gauge by something. Or rel it's relatively fat. But uh, see, the the small thin jet had no problems lighting it. Um, I, I am really surprised that the the striker got stuck, but uh, I mean, cigar. It, the the lighter has worked really well, but uh, apparently every now and again you'll get uh, the the striker wheel stuck on the flint just because of the way it operates. Um, price wise, I think these are about seventy five dollars a piece. Um, I I really like it. Uh, it's not something that I'd feel comfortable sticking in my pocket. I would definitely have this, you know, sitting on a table or, or you know, with an ashtray in the office or something. Uh, more of a presentation piece. It's it's not as practical. But you know, as far as cool factor, I I love this lighter. It's r totally cool. A cool factor in the flint and all that. It's great. But uh. But at any rate, uh, that's the Prometheus Retro Lighter. They also come, uh, this is just your, your stock standard Prometheus uh, Retro Flame. Now, in addition to this, there's uh, the Angelenos, there's uh, a God of Fire Lighter, which is just incredible. And th there's a couple of different variants that you can get. It's not just the, the standard black and chrome. But, uh, that's my take on the Prometheus Retro Lighter. Really like it. Uh, a bit pricey, but high quality tool, just like any of the other uh, Prometheus products products that I've looked at. And and earlier on in the video, I mentioned that there's going to be a product to give away. 
and timing's not great because Jerry's giving away a prize as of yesterday and I've got another <laughs> another prize to give away and uh, the prize is an Elang Angelenos sampler and basically what you're looking at here is uh, a box much like we gave away around Christmas time only a little bit different new access or different accessory and what you've got <coughs> excuse me is four Angelenos cigars and a Prometheus table torch table top lighter which is a uh, fairly big retails for 89.95 and it's got the Angelenos uh, logo on it really cool I actually have one of these to review as well I think it's just stamped Prometheus not uh, not branded for the, the cigar but uh, how, to, how to win this is simple. Uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, tell me about your favorite cigar lighter. Uh, do you still have it? Did you lose it? I mean, have you found a particular lighter that uh, you just love and they're so inexpensive you just kind of, you know, give them away? And, you know, the, I hear a lot of good things about the, uh, I forget what the, the brand is. But, you know, they're like $3 lighters. I hear people rave about them. You know, they buy cases of these lighters at a time. They don't care if they lose them at cigar shops and things. So uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the most expensive lighter that, you know, that is your favorite. Just tell me about your favorite lighter. And, uh, and that'll get you in for a chance to win the Angelenos sampler. And if you're a Stogie Review Fan Forum member, include your forum username and you'll get two entries instead of one. And I totally just stole that off of Jerry. But uh, until next time, happy smoking.